Hello my little storm crowds and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today we are building a blacksmith's home and like workplace like it's an all-in-one thing. This is for my fantasy save file that I am working on. This is another build that is going to be in Willow Creek. This is opposite the fortune tellers and my nectar makers. So this build was actually suggested by one of you guys so thank you so much. I'm really bad at names so I'm so sorry I can't remember the name off the top of my head. You can go ahead and comment down below if you did recommend doing a blacksmith's but I actually asked over on TikTok which sort of blacksmith should I build? There was three images I found on Pinterest. I will pop them up on screen right now. We had this one, which was number one. This one was number two. And this one was number three. And number three won by a landslide. A lot of people were saying they liked the shape of it because it was very different from the other ones. I really like the number two one. So I think I will build that, but on a in a different world. I can't remember what the name of the world is, but the one that has all the Tudor style, I think will work really well with that build. But I really love this one too, again, because of the interesting shape of it. And I had so much trouble with doing the entrance because I wanted it to be fully open. I sort of figured it out in the end by doing the roof where you just drag out the eaves. And then I got rid of the roof part that you can see down into, well, the ceiling technically. And I just removed the wall and ended up using archways that I sized up and put down in the basement. It was a whole light load of hassle. And I had trouble with the stairs, you might not have seen because I was putting the pictures up, but I figured them out in the end. Because the stairs is in this bit that like goes up, I had to do the roofing slightly different because you can't do roofing the way they were in the image. So I did my best to get it sort of similar. So for the character for this build, he obviously is a blacksmith, but not really because that's not in the game. So I give his aspiration as a master maker because that just made m more sense. And since a blacksmithing technically isn't in the game, I have given him a woodworking shop, but it looks like a blacksmith. I created a forge using a few different items. Obviously that's not usable or anything. It is just there for decoration. But what I did is the anvil where you normally let like, hammer and shape these swords, I made that functional. So it's actually a woodworking table, but it looks like the anvil. And I thought I'd be like the only one that's made a blacksmith thing that's functional. Somebody else has already done it. I think it is Sati Sims. I don't know if that's how it's pronounced. Sorry if it is not. But they made one. It does look different from what I've done. They've done like a conjoined forge workshop anvil thing all together. And it looks amazing. Like I looked it up after I was like, oh, I'll do this. And I was like, I I'm going to check if somebody else has done it and they have done it and theirs looked fabulous but I did mine slightly different as I didn't want to copy it exactly but I'm pretty happy with how my turned out. I ended up not having the chimney on this left hand side like the image because I wanted the forge to be at the back of the house so that's where I put the chimney because I felt like that made the most sense. On the building as well the outside building by the outside I mean the one that's open where the blacksmith shop is going to be I did the thatch roof but it had shingles on the top roofs so that's exactly what I did and I did need to extend the top a little bit because it was too small so I had bits that jutted out a little bit further than the downstairs which when I looked at Tudor builds since it, this sort of gives Tudor vibes because of the wall panelling that there was a lot of builds that had this like section that jutted out so I was like it it's not too much of a big deal and I quite liked the look of it in the end and I ended up putting a little chicken coop under there I also really loved this little roof detail of adding a fence across the top this fence is just from debug but you could just use a normal fence you would just have to make sure it's tall enough to stand above the roof but this was something that was on the image and I really loved the look of it I'm not gonna lie, if you did end up wanting to play in this house, it would be sort of difficult when doing the blacksmith stuff. Because if you saw there, when I put the walls down, because I have the archways sized up and they stay there, they are just like sort of in the way. And I also did like spandrels going across the bottom because I just wanted it to look nice. So you could remove them if you were actually playing and it was getting in your way. You still can play with them there, it just may be a little annoying. So here I am creating the forge and what I'm doing is sizing down some of the archways, these stone ones, and I'm lining them up next to each other to create a sort of 
arched area and I'd had to do this in the basement and then I put a well in here and I put a chimney, not a chimney, it's a fireplace and then I individually placed all these pieces of coal. It took me so long but I really wanted the coal in there because I thought it just added that little extra touch. And then I put the fireplace in at the end. The reason I didn't put it in first was because the coal wanted to snap to that shelf. But I'm pretty happy with how it turned out and it is permanently lit because I ended up using that, you can see it there to the side, it is a light that's always on fire. And I placed that in the basement also and raised it up so it is permanently on fire. For a lot of the detail, just like a lot of the other builds, I used a lot of like crates and barrels and stuff like that. Here I am creating that anvil. I did have to go ahead and place this in the basement because it wasn't working when it wasn't in the basement. So I went ahead and placed that in the basement and then the woodworking station does work. I have made sure it's slightly sticking out so you can still click on it. I also added a bucket filled with water. Well, it's a barrel filled with water because I believe once you've got the sword in place after it's been heated up, you wanna cool it down. So they would put it in water to set in place. I don't know exactly if this was be how it would look, but um, I'm just going off what I've seen in films. I didn't add a grinder because I just thought that'd take me too long to make. And I think, it, is it called a bellow? It's like that thing where you puff and I think it helps with the flames. Like you puff air out and it helps the flames of the forge. I didn't do that um, because I, I don't even know how I would make that. So I avoided that. I also did a normal workshop here to the side. So you have the one on the anvil, but you also have this one. I don't know if this one is usable because I've placed items on it. I placed a couple of swords and a hammer and I was trying to cover that tape up. I was trying to cover anything that looked more modern. Um, I ended up putting like a treasure map over that and it's like maybe he's drawn out designs for these swords or shields. And then I'm just making a little sword sign here at the front. I ended up moving this later on to right at the front near the fence, but I'm just making it here for now and I'm using tool mod to position the swords in the correct place. And like I've said in my previous build, you can go ahead and give suggestions for any other fantasy style builds like fantasy, medieval, historical sort of stuff that might work in my fantasy save file. And if I think I like them or I'll be able to do them, I will do them. A lot of the ones that you've already suggested I have wrote down and I will be getting to eventually. There's some really, really good suggestions. A lot of people want castles. There will be castles, don't worry but they're going to take me a little bit longer. I'm not the best at making castles, but I want to make them look good and really furnish them. Also, my stuff from the Akatar series that I've done will be in here as well. Um, they're already up on the gallery anyway, but I will be placing them in here. Some of them aren't furnished, like Tamlin's Manor is not furnished, so that will be furnished at some point and be uploaded to the gallery when it is furnished. If you're wanting to get this save file, it's not available yet because I at least want to complete Willow Creek first and I'm only on the third build for Willow Creek. A lot of the builds here are going to be a little bit smaller because a lot of small lots so hopefully it's not going to take me too long and I'm really focusing only on this at the moment. But it will be up on Patreon eventually. And it will go paid first, but only for one week. So you don't have to become a member, don't worry. But I want to give my members something. So that's why I'm doing it for them a week early. So you just have to download the save file from there. And if you can't download save files because you are on a console, I will, when that is released for free on Patreon, I will be uploading these to the gallery so you can download them individually. I don't know if you'll want the characters or anything, so I will upload the characters as well. But all the char characters currently that I have made only have like one outfit, but I do want to go in and give them a little bit of a storyline. So that might take me a little bit of time as well, but I really want to put a lot of effort into this. And I'm hoping I don't get bored because I get bored easy. I don't feel like I will get bored because fantasy is something I have always loved. Um, like my favorite genre of book, film tv series is fantasy i even have a lord of the rings tattoo because i am really sad but yeah i love fantasy i didn't go massively in detail for the inside of this build i kept it kept it pretty basic i feel like i don't know whenever i see films like a blacksmith's not making tons of money i don't know if they actually did back in the day 
but they never have anything really fancy. So I kept things really stripped back, quite a small bedroom. And uh, there is a bathroom when you, well, it's not a bathroom. It is just a toilet and a sink when you first walk in. So a, is it a wash closet? Yeah, a wash closet. And then I did a bath area with just a bath and a sink in this room at the end here. So it is separate, but I believe, I don't know how far back it is, but like even my house, the toilet used to be separate from the bathroom. It's not anymore. It's been all joined together. But in a lot of older homes, the bathroom was split up. So the toilet was its own room. Again, I was aiming for this to be off the grid, but there was no outside lanterns that came off like the outside of the house that I liked the look of that were off the grid. So the ones I'm using look like they should be off the grid, but they are not. So I didn't set it as off the grid. I haven't set the lot details of this year or even named it, but I will be doing all that again before the save file goes live. Also happy for some constructive criticism, crit criticism, criticism. If you think I should add anything to these builds, please let me know. I don't mind doing that off camera before this goes live also. Happy to take on like some suggestions if you think something should be in the build that's not. Um, I know Emma, you should know who you are, um, has suggested that I should add underrated items to every single one of these builds. Well, I've added rabbits to this build and I, th I think I've added rabbits to all of the builds, which is one of my underrated items in the series that I've been doing. So, technically have used it. I think I also used the birds and fireflies. Not gonna lie, I will most probably use fireflies in every single one of my builds because I just love the way they look. So I ended up removing the floor and painting this on because I wanted it to gradually go out into the grass and I couldn't get the effect with just using the normal flooring. So I used terrain paint instead. I wanted to make it look a little bit more natural and then I added the path going around to the front door also very soon. I'm just going ahead and add in some plants and stuff around and I ended up adding some fences. I used debug fences because I wanted them to be curvy and there's some really good ones. I think they're from Outdoor Retreat. I really love the way they look. I did have to use tool mod because I couldn't get them out of the boundary line. So I do use tool mod to sometimes just slightly set things out of the boundary. Also, if you're wondering, it doesn't matter if I'm using tool mod in this, you can still download the save file. Even if you're on a console, you can still download the builds when I'm using Toolmod because all Toolmod does is move items. You just have to make sure you have bb.move objects on when opening the file and everything should be okay because if you don't, it might move things slightly or if you click on them, then you won't be able to place them back where the items would originally be. So I'm just going around and add in the final details. Like I said, the curved fence. I went ahead and added a little camp area out the back by a little camp area. I just made a fire with some logs around it just so I added something in this garden and I added some a little like farm section. But that is pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already, please subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye!